Louisiana Beer Reviews 3, Bud Ice. Bud Ice was introduced in 1995 in response to the ice beer craze of the mid-1990s, which began with the <clears throat> introduction of Miller's Plank Road Brewery Ice House. Bud Ice is at 5.5% alcohol, and it has turned out to be quite a success for the Anheuser-Busch company. It's a very uh, strong selling beer, uh, it has pretty good following, you see it everywhere, beer is sold, and um, it does tend to be a little lower alcohol than other ice beers because it is at 5.5%. And most ice beers at 5.8 or 5.9 percent. Uh, I'll show you a few things here. Before I do that, I just want to show you for curiosity's sake. Here is Bud Dry, a can of Bud Dry. Here is a bottle of Bud Dry. And I'm showing you this because Bud Dry was discontinued. <clears throat> in 2010 and was not a successful beer that Anheuser-Busch tried to promote. It was introduced in 1989 and just never caught on, unlike Bud Ice. Here's a very early can of Bud Ice, 5.5% alcohol. You can see the corrugated ribbing on the can. What the can says is, our exclusive brewing process produces a rich, smooth taste that's remarkably easy to drink. And that continues to be what the, can, the cans and bottles say. Here's a bottle from about 1996. It's definitely from 96 because it has the Olympics logo on it. This is a later bottle from about 1998 when they redid the look. slightly. And here is a bottle from about 2006. You notice the bottles originally had a cut glass design to remind people of ice. It was a very attractive bottle. Uh, however, once Anheuser-Busch was acquired by InBev in 2008, they adopted a more simplified bottle, a standard bottle with the AB Eagle embossed on it and a, a modified logo. Interestingly, Bud Ice it's, is called Lager. It says Bud Ice Lager. But if you'll notice on most of the bottles and cans on the side, it very inconspicuously says Ale. Well, obviously, it can't be a lager and an ale. And the reason that's done is because some states, particularly Texas, have very strict uh, regulations pertaining to what alcohol beer is allowed to have. Well, since lager in Texas is a beer, and obviously the people in Texas, or the officials in Texas, don't realize that ale is also a beer, these beers Bud Ice will never be called anything but ale in Texas. Now this was bought in Louisiana, but if you go to Texas, it's going to say Bud Ice, and then it's going to say ale. It's not going to say beer anywhere on the bottle or can, and in fact in Louisiana it does not say beer, although this state does not have such, uh, such strict regulation. Well now we're going to go to the review. Here's an unusual design here. I call this a bubble top. These came out a few years ago. This is 16 ounce Bud Ice. Another unusual thing about this is that if you notice, the other Bud Ice bottles of any size are clear. This is the only brown Bud Ice bottle. And I think Anheuser Bush is making a mistake with that because, as you might know, clear bottles and green bottles allow light to pass through the glass, which damages the beer and causes it to smell very skunky. And I've encountered many Bud Ice beers that had a skunky taste and I avoid the clear bottle. 
I'll drink it out of a can or this clear brown bottle, which protects the taste. I've never actually had it out of the brown bottle, but I'm going to try it now. So here we go. Lots of smoke. That's a good sign. Sweet smell, typical Budweiser aroma. You can see that smoke just pouring out of there. Well, you see we have the thick, white, American-style lager head, all the bubbles. You have a clear, very clear, yellow-golden appearance, which is what you're going to always see in a American-style lager. The aroma. Very similar to Budweiser, uh, sweet, uh, not overpowering. I guess you could say it has a beer smell, beer aroma. You don't really uh, pick up any distinguishing ingredients with this. And of course now we must go to the most important thing, the taste. Well, with Bud Ice, you get that ice beer taste. You can feel that sweetness, that little heavier body than what you would get with a regular Bud Weiser. Uh, it's quite watery, but not as watery as Bush. It is very smooth. There's an undertaste of alcohol, some sort of grain. I'm presuming it's corn, maybe rice. This is Beechwood aged. Uh, the brewery informed me that all the Anheuser-Busch products that contain the name Bud, Weiser, or Bud, are Beechwood aged. The other products are not this is. It's naturally carbonated. And as you should know, if you don't, Anheuser-Busch has extremely strict quality control standards, probably the highest in the world. And so you're going to drink any Bud ice anywhere, it's going to taste exactly the same. Although if you get it in the clear bottles, you might encounter a, a, a bad skunk smell and the beer will be slimy. It can be slimy if it's spoiled. So I would highly recommend the round 16 ounce pint bottle or the can. Les Le Bon Ton Roulet. This is a good beer. I've given it high ratings on Beer Advocate. I believe I gave it a B. But uh, most people that have rated it on Beer Advocate, on the Beer in Me, or on Rape Beer, have given it poor ratings. They don't like it. They complain that it's uh, nasty, it tastes terrible, or it, you can't taste the hops. Okay, well, of course, it's a round, well-balanced American beer. You're not going to have a strong hop taste, a hop bitterness. You're not going to have a pronounced malt taste. You're going to have the adjuncts that round it out. It's not going to be that strong. I mean, it does have a stronger alcohol level, so if you drink a lot, you're going to feel it. It's not made as a craft beer, and it's not intended to be that. It's made for mass consumption. It's made to appeal to the wide variety of Americans that don't like a real strong uh, taste. I enjoy it. I've given it high ratings. Uh, do I think it's the best ice beer available? No, not, not really, but it's to me it's good. I enjoy drinking it out of the can or a brown bottle. It's a very smooth beer. Um, go to a fish fry, a barbecue, get together with friends to watch the ball game. This is certainly an appropriate beer made with very high quality, careful attention. 
I have to recommend it, and I am going to rate it a beer, uh, a B. This is a B. It's good. It's uh, quite good, and I, um, I admire it. And that's the end of this review, and I want to say come on down to New Orleans.